That's yours. Santa Fe for the back of town. Your day's going all right. I was born right across the street. Um, it was a doctor's hospital. I was born there. I was raised on Taylor Street. And I, I live right across the bridge now. I've been in Bethlehem my whole entire life, but South Bethlehem is, is my home. It goes back to when I was in high school. I always wanted to be in my own business. When I first got out of high school, I worked for an electrical contractor, and I used to walk by every day uh, the store when it was open. And one day I just said, you know what? I'm deciding I'm going to go work at the store. And the rest is history. Holy mammoth with no chili. That's yours coming at you right there, that is. This is your uh, um, Sasquatch. He really truly cares about every single person, and you'll see that just throughout the day when he's working. Um, every single person that comes up and orders a sandwich, he genuinely wants to know like how their day is going, how they're doing. And I got you here. I got you. How's your day going today? How about you? Ah, fantastic. I don't look at what you do for a living. I don't necessarily uh, worry about what your status is. I don't care. You know, I'm, you come in to me for make a sandwich, I'm going to make you a sandwich. I view it as, you know, there's 48 places to eat around here. The three block radius. You can pick anything you want. You're coming to me. That's an honor for me to make you your sandwich. Because you came to me. You know, you came to me, I'm going to make you the best sandwich that I can. And and that's all I do. Throughout high school, I'd go to the Goose all the time, and my dad, working at Lehigh, is a good friend of Tony's, because he would go in there all the time, too. He's the one who introduced me to the Goose. Uh, over breaks, my brother and I would always do work, study, and tailor gym. And over winter break, we weren't able to do that because Lehigh, there was something with funding, and Tony was finally like, hey, like, he's been asking us to work there. And we were finally like, okay, right, like, we'll, we'll go work there. We'll try it out. Worked there. The first couple days were rough, because I didn't really know what I was doing. Uh, but then once I got the hang of it, it kind of just started kinking naturally, I guess. Um, working with Tony is always great. We've started with athletes right from the get-go. We had a series of uh, championship teams. And they didn't eat salads. They ate good sandwiches. And if you're not allowed to eat this, that, and the other thing because somebody told you it's not good for you, it's not healthy, and you're not going to be happy as an individual, and therefore you're not going to be happy doing what you're doing, and you're going to be tired. The hardest part, 100%, is the secret menus because yeah, they have a publicized menu, but a lot of it's kind of, I'm sure you know, is secret. It was pretty hard just because, like, especially at lunchtime, like, probably, like, from 11 to, like, 1, that's, like, the big rush, and it's just, like, the line's, like, out the door, which is, like, awesome to see, but, like, for us, it's a little overwhelming because it's just, like, sandwich after sandwich, so that kind of makes it difficult, but, like I said, Tony is, like, he is just, like, great at knowing every single one and telling you what you need. Tony's just... Always happy, he's always cracking jokes. And Deb's like the glue that holds everything together too. Like without Deb, the goose would not function. She is the backbone, literally. And and I mean, look at this. You know, she comes in every day to do this. You know, there's no glamour. There's no. This ain't glamorous. This isn't. You know, but she produces the product. You know, she's the. She's the. What do you call it? The patriarch, the matriarch, the whatever you want to call it, she is it. She really rolls up her sleeves and, and jumps in every day. And without her, it, it would be a, a difficult dogfight. It's been a lot of work, and um, but it's, it, it, I mean, it's been very rewarding. We've made a lot of friends through the years, uh, business associates, like not only business people, but you know, people who are coming in as customers. It's always been a seven days a week kind of, kind of business. It's just the way it is. I go seven days a week. You know, we just keep going. We just keep on doing it. But it doesn't feel that way. You know, it feels like every day is a new day for us. So it's every day is good. You know, we, we enjoy what we're doing. It's 39 years of, but you look at one day at a time. And next thing you know, you are at the 39th year. And does it feel like you're at the 39th year? No, it feels like you're at day one yet. I love going to work every day. I but like every day I have to leave early for class and like I wish I could stay here and just work. And just even if, I'm, even if I wasn't getting paid, don't tell Tony because like I still want to get paid, but um, even if I wasn't getting paid, I would still love going to the Goose. Don't bury your talents, okay? Every talent you get, you should, don't bury it. Don't hold on to it. Don't, don't like, oh, I have this talent, but I'm not going to, you know, every talent you have, you should make sure that every day you use them. You know, that's, that's, uh, Everybody has their own gig that they want to 
discover, but without everybody, you know, everybody that's here, whether it be today, yesterday, 30 years ago, 40 years ago, everybody gave a very contributing factor of why we're still here today. I think that I'm always going to be one of those alumni, just like a lot of us on our team, and I think so many of the athletics and other people that Tony and Deb have affected, I think they're always going to come back. Like, whenever I get the chance, like, no matter where I am, I would always love to come back and support them, you know, for everything that they've not only done for me, but my friends and, like, our Lehigh community. Everybody's in our community. This is our community, man. There's no matter what. You're part of it. You can't walk away and say, I'm not part of it. Yeah, you are. You're a part of it. If you're here for 48 months, if you're here for 60 months, if you're here for 24 months, you're part of it. You become part of this organization, this part of the city, and you become the community. So I love, I love Bethlehem. I want everybody to visit Bethlehem. I want everybody to come to, to see what we're about. And of course, when they're visiting, I want them to stop in for a sandwich. So that's part of my goal, is everybody that's visiting Bethlehem coming for a sandwich. Whether it happens or not, I don't know, you know. Give it a good shot.